I have a lot of respect for Sundar and his team. So therefore, uh, I just want us to innovate, right? So there's always, I mean, we compete today. Uh, today was a day where we brought some more competition to search. We've been at it, believe me, I've been at it for 20 years. Microsoft Phi 1.5 is transforming the landscape of AI coding and it challenges LLM's scaling law to showcase the crucial rule for the textbook quality dataset. Explore this video to learn how Phi 1.5 is redefining standards for foundational AI and what this means for the future of AI development. Due to the considerable processing power needed, training AI large language models has typically been the purview of well-funded institutions like OpenAI, Meta and Google. With their work on open source and resource efficient models like Phi 1.5, the Machine Learning Foundation team at Microsoft Research, headed by Sebastian Bubeck, is challenging this status quo. Microsoft Research has accomplished this once more. Researchers have now unveiled Phi 1.5, a cutting edge language model with 1.3 billion parameters that exceeds Llama 2's 7 billion parameters model on a number of benchmarks after outperforming Meta's Elama with Phi1 in July. Microsoft has chosen to make the model open source. What are large language models? A huge language model is a form of advanced language model that is developed on a vast amount of text data using deep learning techniques. These models are capable of producing writing that appears human and carrying out numerous tasks involving natural language processing. The definition of a language model, on the other hand, refers to the idea of ascribing probabilities to word sequences based on the examination of text corpora. There are different levels of complexity for language models, ranging from straightforward n-gram models to intricate neural network models. But the phrase large language model typically refers to models that make use of deep learning methods and have a lot of parameters, from millions to billions. These models are able to capture intricate linguistic patterns and generate writing that frequently blends in with human written content. How are LLMs built? A large language model is a large-scale transformer model that is often too large to execute on a single machine. As a result, it is offered as a service using an API or web interface. Large volumes of text data from sources including books, papers, web pages and many other types of textual content are used to train these models. The training process allows the models to examine the statistical connections between words, phrases and sentences, which allows them to produce responses to questions or prompts that are logical and appropriate for the given context. The FI 1.5 model, with its amazing 1.3 billion parameters, has been painstakingly designed to be the industry standard for a wide range of applications. It excels especially well when handling QA formatted questions, as well as in chat conversations and jobs involving code. With the release of Phi 1 and Phi 1.5, the quest for robust AI programming has taken a new turn in the quickly developing field of artificial intelligence. These groundbreaking models are not only changing the way code is generated, but they are also upending accepted knowledge about how AI should be developed. These models have shown that the key to advanced AI capabilities may not lay in mere quantity, but rather in the quality and method of training by utilizing textbook-style datasets and synthetic data synthesis. Unquestionably, large language models have demonstrated outstanding performance in the area of natural language processing. Their achievements will profoundly and widely impact the economic environment, but they have yet to completely reimagine the artificial intelligence framework or even cognition itself. On the other hand, the improvement of LLMs appears to be primarily motivated by their immense size. Modern state-of-the-art models frequently approach the mind-boggling realm of billions of parameters and tokens, necessitating significant resources for deployment, training and maintenance. Costs unavoidably rise as a result of this exponential scale increase. Thus, the urgent question of how compact can an LLM be while maintaining its capabilities arises. A committed research team at Microsoft sets out on a mission to investigate this question in a groundbreaking document titled Textbooks Are All You Need to Phi 1.5 Technical Report. They present Phi 1.5, a model with 1.3 billion parameters that was trained on a sizable dataset of 30 billion tokens, astonishingly outperforming models five times its size. Furthermore, 
It excels at complex reasoning tasks better than the majority of non-frontier LLMs. On the Microsoft official website, the technical report says, we follow the textbooks are all you need approach, focusing this time on common sense reasoning in natural language and create a new 1.3 billion parameter model named Phi 1.5 with performance on natural language tasks comparable to models 5X larger and surpassing most non-frontier LLMs on more complex reasoning tasks such as grade school mathematics and basic coding. What are the key features of Phi 1.5? Phi 1.5 uses synthetic data to improve its comprehension and language creation, including ones with switched words, purposeful omissions and reversed sentence structures. Microsoft's researchers obtain outcomes on par with top LLMs at a fraction of the cost and training time by using current LLMs, such as OpenAI's ChatGPT, to generate curated synthetic data and train a new model Phi 1.5 on it. Only two weeks were needed to train Phi 1.5 and 8 A100 GPUs, costing about $1,000. This contrasts sharply with other models that cost millions of dollars and require voluminous GPU resources. The textbooks are all you need strategy aims to democratize AI by making use of compact models' capacity for reasoning. Train Phi 1.5 entails carefully selecting synthetic textbooks and incorporating seed words into the data to ensure diversity. The Great Speed tool in Phi 1.5 increases the effectiveness of deep learning models by enabling faster learning with many GPUs, lower memory consumption and quicker data exchange times. Phi 1.5 is the highest performer among models with fewer than 10 billion parameters, performing on par with Llama 27B and better than models like GPT-3 Chat GPT and Text Da Vinci 003. Is there any disadvantage? One problem with Microsoft's Phi 1.5 paradigm is that it could provide the user with more information than they need, possibly overwhelming them with extraneous information. Microsoft made Phi 1.5 available to users under a research license, enabling direct model interaction. Beyond using conventional criteria, this method offers a more flexible and nuanced evaluation. Microsoft's strategy could democratize AI development by making it available to people and organizations other than tech giants by creating models that can learn from high-quality synthetic data rather than huge web corpora. It promises to bring about a new era of democratic, decentralized AI research. Microsoft made a significant contribution to the research community by deciding to make Phi 1.5 available as an open source model for study, enabling the exploration of safety issues and strengthening comprehension in massive language models. That's it. What do you think of this efficient and cutting edge technology? Leave your thoughts in the comments. For more videos like this, Subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.